Oh my god, yes! I hated his hair! Holy shit, thank god he's bald again! Okay, like, like, go off queen! Like, fuck him up! Like, yes, like, go off! This is such a moment of catharsis, like, I don't know what's happening right now! I also went and got Starbucks today, so it's a good day. This angle is so unflattering. There we go. So, ever since school ended, I've just been kind of like vibing, and I don't, I don't know. I would film more videos, but I really don't like even know what to make videos on anymore since school fucking ended. Okay, wait, let me let me just show you something. So I was um so I was actually watching my own TikToks the other day because I do that sometimes. I was watching one of them. And then I thought I noticed something, so I stopped to take a screenshot and um so this is this is it. I'm gonna probably insert like a screenshot because you probably can't see, but like ignore the weird pose. That's not the point. If you look here, like Am I dreaming or do you see like two lines? Like they're kind of shadowy, like two shadowy lines. Like, like I'm not making that up. Like I can see them, they're there. Honestly, this is so weird. I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life. And I don't know why, because like, I guess quarantine just made me like, oh, you know what? Like we have all this time, like you should exercise. Or maybe I was like, I'm gonna be so sedentary this whole time that like I need to like, balance that out a little bit like shout out chloe ting girls got me like like thank you quarantine for allowing me to have nothing to do and so i have zero excuses and i'm like you know what i'm gonna wake my ass up and i'm gonna exercise okay sorry this rant went, went on kind of a long time i'm watching avatar the last airbender it is a great show i haven't watched it before which is kind of odd but i didn't have nickelodeon or cable growing up. I just had PBS Kids and that's on like Asian parenting and they don't want to pay for cable. But now it's on Netflix. So I was, and I was like, bitch, school's over. I have nothing to do. My internship starts like in a week or so. So might as well just like burn this time by watching some Avatar. I just started the first episode and I watched the whole first season in like one sitting. Oh my God, I have to take the trash bins back. They've been out there for like the whole weekend. Okay, I'm gonna go do that. Take this bin back, you know, trying to take care of the household. There are these two girls staring at me. I mean, I think summer's still gonna be fun despite the fact that I'm gonna be stuck at home. Even with social distancing, I feel like it's like, you can still see your friends at least, as long as you like keep an adequate distance away. Don't be up here like hugging people. Okay, heading back upstairs. I literally just took my Starbucks cup and I put more coffee in it. So this is a fun development. I finally got a tripod. Before I literally didn't have one. I was just using this like tiny, oh this one. Before I only had this tripod, which is just like a small bendy one, but I finally upgraded and got an actual tripod, which I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. It was only like 25 bucks. Now I can finally set up shots that are like from the floor and don't have to be based on the location of objects that are tall enough. This on here. Go. This is so dangerous. Uh, I don't know why I didn't turn the camera off to do this, but uh, there we go. See, great. See, look, okay, if this could focus, that'd be great. Anyway, I don't know how to work my camera. Okay, that's all we've learned. Great, okay, can we just talk about, I have had it with these fucking people on my Instagram feed and they're like hugging each other like the amount of times I'm like bitch Do you know like what's happening in the world right now? This is the thing that has changed more people's lives than like anything else in recent history Maybe that's an overstatement, but like at least for these teenagers like this is the most your life has been altered From the way that it usually is probably and they still don't grasp that like like just the sacrifice of maybe like not hugging your friends like literally you can still see your friends Just don't fucking get a ball in their face without like a mask. Like do you understand? I don't get it. I don't get it. These people are so privileged I saw a tiktok about this and it was like bitch like during like pandemics beforehand when people were forced to stay indoors They didn't even have all these like cool entertainment systems that we do. Before there was internet, before there was electricity, people had to be staying home and like just playing with their own selves for like 
months and we have we have these big houses we have these tvs laptops netflix hulu youtube instagram tiktok all these things and people are like no it's not enough like i need to go outside i need to get into my friends faces i need to hug them and most of all i need to post a picture of me hugging them on instagram so i can show the whole world that i love my friends so much that i compromise the health of my family and their family to hang out with each other and hug each other and post about it on Instagram. <sighs> Sorry if that's a direct call out to you, but like seriously rethink your choices. You can still see your friends. I've seen my friends. We just stay apart and usually wear a mask. Drives me crazy. Anyway, um, just thought I had to get that off my chest. I think it's stupid that people don't like realize. People don't realize or they don't care. So either you're ignorant or you're just plain selfish. Both of which are not a good thing. Sorry for that rant. I don't know what this video is. This is just gonna be titled, Me Talking About Things I've Been Passionate About Recently. A, friends on Instagram who aren't social distancing. B, Avatar The Last Airbender. That's this video. Okay, so upon further reflection, I feel like I was being too dramatic. I mean, I guess if you don't social distance, you don't like hate everyone, you're just taking a risk. But whatever, do what you wanna do, just be cognizant of the consequences. Anyways, um, the reason I lugged my tripod up here and set up this whole thing was not to rant about that, but because I have to film a brand sponsorship integration thing for another one of my videos. So I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna change shirts to do this because why not? Okay, so I'm here on my phone so I can film me filming with my camera filming -ception. Usually when I film the brand part of the video, I always have my laptop for the talking points because I can't memorize them. I already filmed a video, but then I didn't like the brand mention that was filmed in that portion, so I'm gonna do it again. So right now I'm just gonna look over the talking points, which are literally like on this doc that they gave me, and I'm gonna just like prepare what I'm gonna say because like you always want to like show that you actually care about the product so people aren't like why are you sponsoring this thing that like you clearly don't give a shit about maybe i'm just really bad at acting or lying but i feel like it's so hard like to talk and come off natural when you're talking about it like a service or a product that you don't actually give a shit about or that you think isn't a good product. Whenever I do sponsorships, I always make sure that it is like a good product and or service that I believe in them and that I think it's good to recommend to my viewers. So yeah, this is just how it goes, you know. Still focused? Great. And I wanna to talk to you guys about the sponsor of this video, which is Grammarly. That was bad, that was bad. That took so much longer than expected, okay. I'm back on the camera. So I just finished recording that. Um, it took a lot longer than expected, but now that I'm done with that, I'm literally just gonna finish watching Avatar. Like, I don't care. I just, this show is so good. It's just so addicting. I can't stop. Okay, so fams, here's how I do my video editing process. Um, in my next video, I will explain how I'm very bad at organization, especially in my like digital space. This is kind of an example of that. I kind of just like use the movies tab to store all my video stuff, which is perhaps stupid. Usually I have a folder for each video, which is good. That was an upgrade for me. This is the folder I'm gonna currently be working with and I just plugged my SD card in, which is why I'm recording on my phone. A folder, folder. Yeah, so this is what I want. So I'm gonna drag it into movies and then into this folder and it'll just take a second to transfer. Okay, so it finally finished. And so now I'm just gonna eject my SD card and unplug it, unplug. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go over to my video editor, which is DaVinci Resolve as usual. See, I'm already working on this video because it's so great. Take this new clip that I just added with the brand part, drop it right in here, and then I'm gonna continue editing the video and it's gonna be great. Why did I even show that? I don't know, whatever. Editing time, got my headphones. I also have to plug them in or else there's like a lag for between like, my mouth moving and like the sound and I just dislike it. So I look stupid with the wire, but it's fine. I'm taking a break from editing. I'm gonna get myself a snack. Look at these. 
I'm so excited. We got these from H Mart. They're so freaking good, and they taste exactly like milk tea. It's like so funny. Mm. They also have little boba things in them, and they're still chewy. Like I don't even know how that happens. Ooh, the lighting's kind of cute right now. Okay, yeah, anyway. And that's gonna be it for this vlog. I don't know what, like, it was even, but it was something, like, something happened. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.